In this lesson, we want to look at writing comparative mathematical statements based on a given situation. And then we also want to look at, if we have a mathematical statement, how we can write the given situation. So if we want to look at number one here, and we say that the fire code states that there are, can be up to 50 people. First of all, we have to figure out what our variable is. So we're talking about the number of people. So we can define a variable as p equals the number of people. And again, remember, we, we're looking for kind of three things here. We're looking for the variable, and it's something that pertains to the problem. And we have to be able to quantify that variable. So in this case, it's the number of people that we're working with. We want it to be up to 50 people. So that means that p has to be no more than or equal to 50 people or up to 50 people. Okay. If we want to look at number two here, the number of minutes it takes to drive to Phoenix is more than, and again, in comparative statements, we're looking for is more than, so that makes it a comparison. If we just had more than, then we have a subtraction problem. Okay, so this time we're talking about, right here, we're talking about the number of minutes, so maybe we'll use the letter M equals the number of minutes. And you can elaborate that, the number of minutes to drive, if you would like or just the number of minutes, and this time we need to know that the number of minutes can't be any more than, or I'm sorry, is going to be more than, so is more than 20. And then another pre question we might want to look at is number six, where we're looking at two things that are kind of happening. We have both Sarah and we have Corey here. So the number of credits that Sarah is taking is three more than Corey. So we're talking about credit hours, but we're talking about two different people, so we're going to have to have two variables here, and I'm going to go ahead and use maybe S for the number of credits, and I can't just say the number of credits because I don't know who I'm talking about, so I have to say the number of credits Sarah is taking, and then we're going to do the same thing for Corey, so we can use the variable C for the number of credits Corey is taking. And then now we're going to look at, and we can actually write this two different ways. We can write it in terms of Sarah or we can write it in terms of Corey. So if we're saying Sarah is equal to, and this will help us with the next activity, this, um, but Sarah is equal to, well, is Sarah taking more or is Corey taking more? I think we can say Sarah's taking three more, so we can kind of do this literally. So Sarah's taking however many Corey is taking plus three. Or if we wanted to take it, take it in terms of Corey, we could say Corey is taking the amount Sarah's minus three. It doesn't really say which one we have to write in terms of, so we could write either one of these statements. And it doesn't really matter which one you write. Okay. So flipping over to student page B here, we have a situation. Let's assume that there are two types of candle making kits. So we're talking about kits that you can sell for a fundraiser. Let A represent the profit in dollars. Okay, so we're talking about money um, of a scented kit. Similarly, the unscented candle kit's profit is represented by B. So we have the non-smelly candle kits and then we have the smelly one, or the nice scented ones. And But again, we're talking about profit, and this is in dollars. So let's look at letter D here. Um, and so we're talking about what is B. And so like in the last one, when we're talking about Sarah, Sarah and Corey, we could say Sarah was something in relationship. So let's do B. Since B is um, equal to, we can say the profit... in dollars of the kit that's being, uh, the, how about we say the unscented candle kit. So the profit in dollars of the unscented candle kit. 
is equal to $30. So keep in mind, this 30 represents money because we're talking about profit in dollars. So um, the unscented candle kit is equal to $30 more than... Notice I'm not saying is more than, because is more than is a comparative. This time we're saying is equal. That's where our sign comes from. So $30 more than the profit in dollars of the scented. Candle kit. Okay, so again, we're talking about profit, so we have to make sure the sentence can be kind of long, and um, but also the is more than would make it a comparative. That would make the, the less than or greater than symbol. In this case, it would be a greater than symbol if we said is more than. Right here, the is equal, that's our symbol, which is represented right there.